y'all, welcome to STEM Starters. So I've been 3D printing for a really long time, but I just recently got my Bamboo Lab P1S printer with AMS, and I'm really excited about it. It's only been about three weeks, and you guessed it, I've already run into problems. But these problems I actually think I can fix. So I actually ran into this. I got this error on my Bamboo Lab printer, and when I was looking things up, I found out maybe I can fix it. So we're going to go along together and we're going to try to fix it together. So all I'm going to use is a little piece of filament that I did cut off of a new roll. And I'm going to use this hex wrench that Bamboo sent me with the printer. And that's all I'm going to do. So let's see if I can fix it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to turn off your machine. You're going to unplug the AMS from the printer with that little black cord. And then you are going to carefully pull the tube from the back. And I'm going to show you here that you have to reach in and press this release in the back from the inside while you're pulling the tube on the outside. So don't try to do this and film yourself doing this at the same time. It's not going to work. So now I'm going to show you how to open this bad boy up, open the lid, and then release all the filaments. And I just do that by rolling them backwards as they, as Bamboo Lab suggests. Now there is going to be two screws that you need to take out using those hex wrenches that Bamboo Lab sent you. And those two screws are located about right there. So you're just going to need to unscrew those. So what made me realize that I needed to look into this was that the Bamboo Lab threw up this error right here. And I knew that I had a piece of filament stuck somewhere. So then you're just gonna easily guide this out. You're gonna make sure that back part doesn't get caught. And now you're gonna see that it is connected by two different wires. So you don't wanna pull it too hard like I almost did there. Um, and then you're gonna go ahead and pull those two wires out. And luckily they look different on the end so you'll know which one they go back to. Now you're going to take out the tubes here and you have to do this very carefully. So you're going to push down on that spring and then push in those circles there. So you have to push down on the spring and then push in at the circles at the same time at the end of the tube so that it will easily release and it's very easy. Now all I'm gonna do is just take a brand new piece of filament that I just cut off one of my rolls and I'm gonna insert it into each tube area. So you're just gonna take that and put it in each slot and make sure that each of your lines are clear. So in this third one, this is where I had a bit of a blockage. You can't see the piece come out, but something did. So I'm just going ahead and making sure that all of those tubes are clear. So now once I've done all that, I'm just going to reconnect these tubes by pushing them in. So I don't have to hold anything down this time, I can just push that right in. And then you're gonna want to reconnect those two wires and make sure that your AMS tray is in the correct way. Go ahead and get those screws and make sure that you have those ready to go. And you're gonna reconnect these wires first. And it was really hard to do. Now you're just going to make sure that the lever goes underneath in that hole and you're gonna set your tray back down in there. Then you're just gonna do everything in reverse. You're gonna put the screws in and screw them in with that hex wrench there. So now I'm gonna get the AMS hooked back up and I'm just gonna do that by setting it on top of my printer and putting the tube back in. Then I'm gonna make sure that I plug in the black cord back into the correct spot and turn on the machine. So I loaded up one of my son's favorites, the Flexi Axolotl, and gave it a try. And here you can see that I'm back to printing just fine. So I was able to take my AMS apart and put it all back together and get that piece out. So make sure you like and subscribe our videos so you can check out the videos we put out each week. Thanks for joining STEM Starters, where we believe STEM is for everyone. Mm -hmm.